Write in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail all the way from a good friend in the UK. Um, he's actually an, a, an MSX collector himself um, of recent times um, and he's only after particular titles and he's been buying a few bundles over in the UK um, and the ones that he doesn't want or whatever um, he offers to me. So he has sent me some titles here so there are some filler titles as well as the primary uh, things he was going to send over. So we'll start with some tape titles. So he had a bunch of tape titles that I didn't have. I have no idea what, what some of these are like. They're sort of like, you know, padding out the collection. Sometimes there are some surprises. Not all of them are straight um, spectrum conversions. So we have by PSS Laser Bikes. Um, one from Alligator Software. And other Alligator Softwares are actually quite good. Uh, Knockout 3D and I said don't get me wrong some of them even if they are a direct spectrum conversion if the original game is pretty good and it, you know the conversion works well there's nothing wrong with that as well um, foot volley looks quite interesting And amazing, I didn't have this one. Speed King, it's another Mastertronics one. No screenshots on the back of that one. Uh, Chubby Gristle, like a nice little platformer. Uh, Hustler by Bubble Bus Software. Titles actually fill a few holes here and there. Another Kuma title that I've never heard of called Zipper. They're actually usually, um, there have been some quite good Kuma software titles because they're normally written direct to the machine. Um, a player's title, Firehawk, which is actually supposed to be quite a good shooter on the Spectrum. We're interested to see um, how well they've done the um, MSX conversion. Um, Eddie Kid Jump Challenge, another motorbike one. And see, there's nothing wrong with some of these games by the sounds of it. Some of them I haven't heard of. So, Cannon Fighter. Don't think I've got any other tapes of that particular brand. Funware series. Now we have three Panasonic ROM packs, no packaging. But I will say I have um, several of these other ones from Panasonic and uh, the games aren't that good. So I don't know how, so these are only cheap. So we have Pillbox, but I said they're a cartridge. So I might as well flesh the con uh, collection out. Space Trouble, hopefully that's a decent version of Apple Panic or something. And Starship Simulator. See, some of these are actually basic games that have been compiled and put on a cartridge, so some of them are shocking, and then others are okay. So, Turboat, which actually came out for the original Spectre video and is a bit like Zaxxon with a motorboat, is actually quite a good game. Um, so, so much. Okay, now, here is the main item. Now, notwithstanding that I'm not expecting too much from the game, I'm just really happy to get a title made by Psygnosis for the MSX. Um, you know, mainly because their covers are so brilliant and it's in a lovely box. So here we go, the box is in pretty decent condition. And I'll flip this way because the back of the box is in upside down. And this is my very first Psygnosis title for the MSX. I've got some for the, the Amiga and the Atari ST. 
I'm not expecting too much from the game. So we actually have the manual as well. And inside it's a bit of a smoker's, obviously from a smoker. <clears throat> and the tape looks, it's a bit loose. Well, we will have a go and set them up and see how we go. There's no pictures in the manual. It's all just text and story. Well, that's all right. I'm just really happy of getting a psychosis title. So let's grab an MSX out, plug it in and try all of these games. I'm trying out a new recording setup for this video as well. Um, obviously over the other side of the room where I used to do a lot of my um, computer recording stuff. I'm using that OSSC that a friend lent me a while back and I've got an Elgato over this side so we shall see how it goes. Now I have loaded this game once before and it is very simple so we won't be spending a lot of time on this one. It's a bit of a, an intro. Um, So as far as I can tell, I am the green one. Because I can alter the direction of things. This looks like... And I reckon this is a two-player only game. So it's, it's a little bit of a go at Tron... Um, ...cycles. Okay, and I can control the red player with the joystick, so... At least we've... Um, made sure that our setup is working. So this setup allows me to actually use an, an LCD up here um, for the output as well and not get any lag. So let's try out some of the more interesting games. Right, that was quite a long though. And the cat's cold. Otherwise it's cold outside. This is quite a well done opening. Very animated. So 1988, so it's a little later than the 8 bit side of things. It looks like I do actually have this for the Amstrad. I don't remember playing it though. Hmm, well that's actually quite impressive. <coughs> oh, so, let's try and do this with the added cat difficulty. Oh. Is it not going to let us get... This becomes very difficult with cat. Okay. Okay. Joystick's working. Okay, so I seem to better move this car. Okay, so it doesn't matter about that one. Okay, and you can't fall too far. So you've got one of these, you know, probably fairly entertaining. Oh, you can't jump very high. Uh, or fall very high. Or fall very far. Um, so we've got one of these, you know, pixel perfect platformers. Jump on that. Let's... Yeah, I actually got something. Oh, and then fell too far. <laughs> well, look, all things considered, that actually doesn't look so annoying. You have to press the space bar. 
can't park here. Yeah, I'm getting a ticket. That's yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, so the general thing is, you know, it's, it's a um, pixel perfect. Oh, I should have jumped in. Pixel perfect platformer. And you need to work out, you know, what path you need to go. And also, yeah, see, that makes it a little bit unfair. And, um, <laughs> okay, go through those. Oh, that doesn't look very good. They look like spikes stuck there. Okay. Oops. And we're dead again. Well, all things considered, I reckon that's not a bad um, pixel perk platformer. I used to love, you know, things like Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy back in the day. And this sort of a game, even though it is a spectrum conversion, um, is still done quite well um, and would be fun on the system. So we'll, we'll give that one a reasonably good rating. Alright, I'll get rid of this cat and we'll try the next item. Right, very loud, joyful music, we have Hustler. Um, I'll take the software, I've had no good loading issue success so far. Took a long while to respond. Any ball in any pocket, okay, we'll try that. Okay, so we do a direction thing. Let's just try this. Okay. The closer to the ball, the harder it goes. Okay, that's opposite to what I thought I thought. So it's a fairly simple one. Oh, I see. Now I get it. It's how far along that red bar is. No, not quite. Physics aren't too bad. These sort of games can keep you amused for a little while. No. <laughs> Not doing very good, am I? And I take it the different game variations you can. Uh, we'll give you a bit of variety for a while. Yay. Oops, missed. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, I fluked it. Well, it's not, it's not a too bad uh, pool game, really, so... Um, I would have had fun with this back in the day. Complete a flick, that has to be. Yeah. Take a little while to work out the angles. But, you know, it looks okay. The balls move quite smoothly. 
intro looks a little, you know, like written in basic. Um, but the, this actual ball movement would have to be in assembler. I seriously doubt I'm going to be able to get this, but we can try. Shots a bit harder. Okay, yeah. see if we can get this last ball in. Oh, you're kidding me. Is it even possible for me to do this? Yay! Patrick Adventures wins with 30 shots. Hmm. All right, let's try the next game. Right, so next we have foot volley. Let's see how we go. Uh, yep, one player. <laughs> the spool. I knew what in the hell I'm doing. <laughs> what do we do? Come back here. Right the ball. And I suppose we've try, got to try and we've got to try and hit that white spot. I reckon. Somehow I got some score. I take it I'm probably supposed to try and Stand on that yellow stuff you get. And I can only go back so far. I am getting a score though. Right, you can intercept the ball. Right, okay. I'm just being terrible. Side. Okay, well, it's probably a game I obviously need to read the instructions and, um, you know, figure out what I'm supposed to do specifically, but um, the graphics don't look too bad, and most notably, we are definitely using sprites, um, and you're not having the same colour clash that you would have uh, if it was a straight spectrum game, so... Um, we'll give that one kudos. All right, let's try our next game. Next is 3D Knockout. So, definitely Spectrum Pop. 
but you never know. Okay, I'm the guy in the red corner. So you've got to press in different directions. There were. There were different. There wasn't like you have a brief look at the instructions. Bit cold tonight, my hands get sore. Get me against the ropes. Oh, I knocked him out. This never happens when I play sp um, sports games. <laughs> well, other than being a blatant spectrum port. This is not too bad. Not tainted by the fact that I actually got somewhere then. There are quite a few moves available. Um, and it'd probably be a good fun two-player game as well. Um, I do apologise for this angle too. I am going to move all my monitors around and reshuffle things. But uh, now that I've got the new capture solution, uh, we'll gradually improve it over time. Um, and there obviously is a bit of mess in the room behind me as well. Changing things around in the house. All right, so... That's not too bad. Let's try our next game. Here we go with Cannon Fighter. Intro looks pretty good. Um. I'm missing something here. You gotta to push towards to make your cannon go up, okay? Hmm. I take it I've lost a line. Now go behind my next one. And the graphics aren't actually Besides me being crap at, um, I reckon this has got some possibility. Oh, so that's a range there. actually not too bad um, definitely using sprites too so who would have known and it's not it's even a little bit of a um, nice intro good use of color I reckon with a bit more play that actually could be a, a fairly decent game all right highly recommend it next game so we have Eddie kid jump challenge uh, deep it no it's just dive in Was there a um, <clears throat> should have read the manual? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. 
So this is probably the um, going back for our run up. <coughs> Let's grab the instructions, we're not going to get very far. Oh, it's in tiny writing too. So we have proven we can ride a bike. Control the throttle. No, you've got to press a function key, so we need the keyboard. So you've got to go to a stop, and then you've got to turn around. Okay. Now the idea is obviously get up our speed and we've gone quite a distance now so we've got to, we've got to go all the way back <clears throat> so I take it obviously this is a BMX and we might have a um, you know different types of bike entries here we go So I did that. That's fairly simple. I suppose you could have a bit of fun with the options and things like that. So very early title, and it worked, which was another bonus. Well, these titles don't even load properly. It is easy spectrum port, but it doesn't really look it because the graphics are quite clever. All right, let's try our next game. Right, next we have Firehawk. I was hoping this one would work. Nice and fast. I'm not actually controlling this. Yeah. Seem to have a tremendous amount of control. It's almost like I've been damaged now, so I've got less control. But it's nice to know that it's at a native port. <clears throat> We're using sprites. I can shoot again. It's nice and colourful. I'm not sure my control is working. Might just see what happens if I get hit again. Is that alert thing getting higher? This is it, like I can't move at the moment. I can fire. Oh, now I can move. Sort of got to dodge rather than shoot. Oops, and you can't hit the edges either. Um, it's 
quite an interesting one. That one uh, probably requires a bit more, um, a bit more of a look. Um, I might have a bit of a play with that one again later. So lots of games to get through. So, but um, that one's quite interesting and nice to see that it's a native MSX port. All right, let's try the next game. So we have Starship Simulator. Uh, very dirty these Panasonic cartridges were. So hopefully this works. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no instructions. So um, let's see how we go. Quite often these things are written in basic. Ooh, all right. right, so function keys. some control now something so that's spinning us up or well, we're going into this is one of those games where you really need to know what all the keys do so this is basically being the function keys doing things so this is like a sector there okay we do have some control Hitting him. Take it, we're getting system damage. Come on, let's get it. That beam got too hot. It's very sensitive. A little scanner thing over there. There we go. I mean, it's, this is a bit like, you know, Star Raiders and things like that. I reckon this could be um, a bit of good fun once you know all the controls and obviously you've got to keep track of your damage and things. Good, nice. And the actual window thing is quite responsive. Oops, I didn't actually mean to shoot them. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy is absolutely stalking us. Yeah, so this. I reckon I could enjoy playing this game a bit more. At the end of the day, you, you know, you, you're getting a bit of a Star Raiders y type thing. Um, I just need to learn the um, other controls, you know, maybe you've got torpedoes you can use um, and you can do repairs and things like that, so Because I think we've got some damaged systems I'll have to see if I can um, look up a guide, there's hopefully an English guide somewhere but um I don't think that one's too bad. All right, let's try our next game. All right, next we have Space Trouble, which looks like I thought it was going to be like an Apple Panic sort of thing, but it looks like a bit of a shooter. So let's see how we go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to shoot that. Yeah, I'll click that. Same. Like that. Oop. Oop. Okay. No idea what these things are giving us. Got him. I think we've got a little progress thing on the right there, showing us how far we've gone. 
and we've got fuel going down. Alright, so twos don't give us any fuel. Maybe that was the sparkly thing without the number up. Oops. <laughs> You can die. Oh, it pops you right back at the... Oh, no, it doesn't. Got it. Okay. Got that. Got three. Got him. I mean, there's a few different enemy types and things like that. They're a bit dumb. I reckon that's fuel. Yeah, there we go. Now we have to hit them multiple times. Interesting concept. I'll just be interested to know what the numbers are. <laughs> Oops. And there was a fuel there. <laughs> Okay, uh, I probably would have been a little disappointed if I paid real money for this back in the day. But um, it is actually better than some of the other titles um, that came out in, I suppose, this early stage. It is a bit there and it's building towards something. So i be interested to see what two players is like, whether you take turns or whether it's two players on the screen at the same time. So we'll give that uh, five or six out of ten. All right, let's try next time. All right, so next we have Pillbox. So we are not going to expect miracles. It is, is it responding to the button? Okay. Take it we're supposed to be trying to get these guys. We have to actually get them when they're sneaking. Yeah. Try. Got him. Yeah, you gotta think about which one's gonna go next. Okay. It's a bit uh, gruesome, shall we say? I don't know what the blue thing does. Who's gonna go next? Yep. You gotta sort of think about who's gonna go for a sneak next. Person moves very quickly. Come on, go for it. In the meantime, Mm -hmm. um, 
wonder what you get for getting one of the blue ones down there. Faster, or is it just my imagination? Missed him. Missed him. It's the blue thing again. Oh, you have to hit the blue thing to get off the level. Right, okay. So, it's like, capture the flag. It's a bit gruesome, if you think about it. Okay. I'm going to purposely lose, and I'll see what happens. Ah, so it's okay. Um, good for a bit of fun. Once again, probably would have been a little disappointed if I had a paid full price for a cartridge that had this on it. Right, well, I had to change MSX computers to get this one to load. Um, I do have one that just isn't going to work, well, they're done with the tape. Um, that's the zipper one. Unfortunately, it's, it's a tape that's got too tight, so... Alright, um... Choice. Very loud. Okay. Um... Practice. So, joystick button accelerates. Down for gear. Corner. Oh, already this is. Not too bad. <coughs> Going all over the place. Flashy thing over there is. Oh, it's my joystick. Probably for this side of the room, I need to get um, another one of my joystick controllers going, I think. Or not be lazy and uh, uh, move my MSX arcade joystick over. Lucky this is practice. Oh, that's a zip gear. Must be the big long straight. Down to come a cropper at the other end. Uh, that said my joystick's not helping here. Yeah, we've done a lap. Hmm. 
the spring on this joystick's broken, unfortunately. I do have a couple other Wyco joysticks. I probably should take the innards of this one and um, put it, you know, the wire, the circuitry that I upgraded it to be an MSX joystick and change it all the others. We'll see if I can fix the spring. This isn't a half bad attempt at a racing game. Besides my poor joystick. Getting better at the corners, but I'm not taking them very fast. Interesting way of doing the um, bits that are a bit further away. gearbox <laughs> oh that's not too bad I probably should have done a race make it a bit more interesting for you guys but um, for a um, Mastertronics title I reckon that's a pretty damn good game um, and deserves more inspection alright we have one more to try which is Barbarian which is the obviously the one I ordered in the first place did not work on MSX2 so hopefully it's going to work on this MSX1 Right, so here we go with Barbarian, which loaded on my Mess X1. Thank God. Right, now we want two for joystick. Yep, and zero to bring in our quest. Okay. Put the joystick in the right port. Yes, I do. No. We have no control. I'll try with the other port. Okay, it uses joystick port too. Where's the logic in that? So at the moment, this is like uh, icons down there. So if I move that to there, and now it's sword. Right, okay. So don't press up and down unless you really need it. So, whoop. And I died straight away. Isn't that lovely? And I died again. What does that do? What does it do? Uh, jump, okay, yeah. Joystick. So that's charge, and that's not going to work either. I didn't do very well. They have not scored. You've completed 1% of barbarian. 
that's because I'm hopeless. Two. Not selected. Zero. Okay, that does some weird pass. It's damn joystick. Maybe I should have selected the keys. Okay. Let's try this again. Just out of interest, what does that one do? Jumps. No. Oh, stupid just here. And it, it went and moved again. This is going to drive me crazy. Oh, God, stop it. Dear me, people, this is just not... This choice has got worse. I did it! Okay, so with a better joystick, I might be able to get a bit further. I really have to work out. Ah, oh, look at this done again. Stop it. I'm sorry, my joystick is broken. And we get a grade up there that I didn't see. Oh dear. So how are you supposed to know that's there? Yeah, and you're going to run through. Sort of like a... <laughs> um, well, the game looks quite interesting. Uh, playing with this joystick is just not going to happen. Um, let's go. Keyboard. Oh, but well now it's going to be blinking the spectrum. Yep. So that's Q, W. Doesn't do anything. Q, W. I will find the thing that changes up, down, that would be sensible. Ooh. O, P. Right, P. And we want M. Oh, God, look at these keys are all over the place. Yay! the fast forward that's it now oh, you need to quickly change to so look it's reasonably well animated it's obviously a spectrum conversion the controls are a little bit frustrating. This is the not giving you much of a chance to do something. Um, so it's extremely hard. Um, I will persevere and keep playing it. I am very pleased to have a Psychonosis game for the MSX. I didn't even know any were published. So I wonder if there's any more. I mean, it's by Melbourne House. I know that The Hobbit was published, but that's not Psychonosis. So it be interesting if there's any more out there that I don't know about. And beautiful, beautiful cover. Worth getting for that. 
even if the game is a bit hard but it, it, I believe there is a bit more game in there I just need to give it a bit of a go and they have done a little bit of effort to make some MSX changes as you can see the writing in front of us has color gradients going down the letters so they've done a little bit of MSXE stuff um, but otherwise it's mostly version so only one title uh, zipper didn't work because the tape seized up um, I'll see if I can you know download a tape image of that at some stage but very very happy to get these new games for my MSX machine anytime I can get new titles for my MSX I am very pleased and especially to find an unusual title like this one all right I'm Electric Adventures thanks to all my subscribers thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time